What up everybody, DJ Dirty Digits back again and I'm here chilling at Scratch DJ Academy, New York City and we're here today to talk about the slow Autobahn scratch. Just to eliminate any confusion, we've already done a video for the fast Autobahn scratch. Today we're talking about the slow Autobahn scratch. The fast Autobahn is a series of three notes. If you haven't checked that video out, go and look at that one. Um, today we're doing the slow Autobahn, which is a series of four notes. So let's get into it. Let's kind of check it out. So what I need to do right now is I need to be at the top of my sample and my fader needs to be closed, right? And so how I start this thing is I move the record forward. That's one. And I bring the record back and I close the fader. Two. So one more time, my first two notes. One, two. After that, I need to get two more notes going on. And so I'm going to click and transform the fader once. And I'm going to click it one more time going forward. But I'm going to leave the fader open at the end of it. So those are my first four notes. Let's do those again. One, two, three, four. See how the fader's open at the end of it? Most important part right there. One, one more time. One, two, three, four. That's, what we, that's how we want to end. I want to end in my extended position with my fader open so I can approach my next part of the scratch properly. So one more time from the top, fader's closed, top of my sample, record goes forward, I open the fader, record goes back, close the fader, I click the fader once for a transform, and I click it again, still going forward, but I leave it open right there. So one more time. Those are my first four notes. Now to bring it back, I need to get my next series of four going on. So my fader's open, I'm at the top, I'm at the extended part of my sample, excuse me, and I'm ready to kind of bring this thing back. So the next thing I do is I pull the record back and I close the fader, and I bring it back to where I just was. So it's just a backwards chirp. One, two, one more time. From this position, one, two, and I'll click once and once, ending closed. So one more time from this extended position, fader's open, I do a backwards chirp, so I bring the record back, close the fader, return the record to the extended position, open the fader again, I'll click once, and I'll cl click again. From the extended position, one, two, three, four. Close, open, close, click. And I'm back to my return position with my fader closed. So let's put it all together. Really how you can kind of tackle this scratch, think of it in a series of four, and you can kind of, it's easier to approach. So from the top of my sample, my fader's closed. That's my first four, the fader open at the end of it. I'm ready to bring it back to the beginning position. So once you get the flow of those two parts individually, the next step is to put it together so you have a series of eight notes all together. one to get into. So let's kind of work it to a beat. I'm going to start really, really slow. Speed always comes last. You really want to worry about consistency and getting locked into a rhythm before you kind of take it to the next level. So I got a beat going on right here. Bring this back up. I'm going to go really slow. Once you feel comfortable with the two sections separately, try to flow it together. Put some space in between, all right? Here we go. And then try it one more time. And then after you feel like you finally have the idea all together, then you finally loop the scratch and get a good little flow going. So I'll kind of get that going. So that is the slow Audemon scratch. There's a bunch of other techniques that kind of pair really well with it. I like to do swing flares and maybe even just like a military or baby scratch kind of thrown in to give it a little variation. But like I said, speed comes last. So once you're confident with the technique, you don't want to work with the beat for a second and just really focus on kind of getting your own momentum and getting a little bit faster as you go. Um, took me a long time to get there. So let's kind of put it on the beat all together and let's try to get some variation in there too. So bring it back to the top. Now I'll put some variation. Boom, slow Audubon scratch, dirty digits, scratch DJ Academy, New York City. Thanks for checking us out. Peace.